Okay, what I've got here is a stitched panoramic taken out at the Uluru Katajuda National Park and it is a shot of the Olgas from the Southern Rise viewing platform and it's taken on my old Canon 1DS Mark II and as you can see this is a raw stitch just run through CS3's photo merge and the problem with it is it doesn't have yet any aspect ratio and when I say aspect ratio I mean to replicate a like a standard film format which would be like at normal digital will be 3 to 2 35 mil you but in medium format you got 617 3 to 1 624 4 to 1 2 to 1 which is 612 1 to 1 which is sort of same 66 Hasselblad um yeah or 69 67 whatever you like but what we've got to do first is flatten this photo before we can actually make it into anything and I'm just going to show you some of the thought processes that I do to go into making these sort of shots so first of all we've got to make sure our horizons a little bit more a little bit straighter so I'm going to come in duplicate the layer and this is how I do it at the moment because this is a raw stitch I know it's going to be modified anyway so I'm going to come in and just get a bit of a rough idea on where we need to be in regards to straightness make it look a little bit more reasonable. So just wait for that to be applied, view, clear our guide, and for argument's sake let's say that'll do. So I'm going to come in, I'm just going to flatten that now that we've got our image straight. So again, now we're going to try and work through what sort of aspect ratios are going to work with this shot. And it's really important because if you don't have a correct aspect ratio, your photos aren't going to be professional. If you whether you're uploading them onto a website, you don't want to have like a photo which which has a sanded crop where you come in and you go, oh you look, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. You double click and that's your shot. But really, is it? If we come down and click here, is it three to one panoramic, nine hundred by three hundred? No, it's not, because it's 900 by 360. Or is it 4 to 1, which would be something like 1200 by 300? No, 1200 by 480. Is it 2 to 1, say 600? No, it's not. It's not 600 by 300. You know, so it doesn't really have any sort of match, because who's to say that the next time you put a panoramic shot together, that your crop isn't something like... It's not like, it's like that size now. You know what I mean? So you really got to make sure that you have a lot of continuity with your work and it will flow through the more shots you add to galleries or your own personal website if they're all in a really thought out ratio then it's going to look a lot better to clients and you can sort of say this photo is worth this much this size photo is worth this much hopefully that makes sense so what we're going to do is we're going to run through a few ratios here so we're going to look at 617 so just type in on the cropping tool grab the crop tool here width 3 to 1. Now that can be 3 to 1 pixels as you can see here or it can be 3 to 1 meters, 3 to 1 centimeters, 3 to 1 mil, it doesn't matter. Don't add anything in your resolution, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is now when you drag you can see how your rectangle of marching ants comes out. So what I do is I come in and I just change the opacity of our background, the black, just a little bit just so I can sort of see how tightly I can go to the edges because I always want to get the most out of my shot then once I've done that I come in and I set it back to 100% black so this is the idea of 3 to 1 which I think looks looks quite good but let's go a step further and let's see what 624 or 4 to 1 looks like come in with your crop lines again drag it up slightly pull down so this is what it's going to look like 4 to 1 again not too bad, but we've got a lot of we're missing a lot of our foreground. Our sky really isn't that interesting, but our foreground really is. Cancel. Let's see what our 612 or 2 to 1 looks like. No, a little bit boxy. Let's see something maybe like a Noble X 2.4 to 1. Come through. Yeah, I like that. 
I probably would like that maybe if we had a little bit more Sky interest, but again, I think that's probably my second most favourite. I think 3 to 1 at the moment is the one to go with this. So let's just do that again. Bring that as close to there as possible. Just so we don't see that. Now with um, working out our composition, let's look at our, our trees here. Maybe we could make it a little bit heavier. Foreground, because our sky really isn't that much. Yep, I like that. So what I do from here is I make sure I've got rulers are on, so we've got this ruling here, and I make sure snaps on. So I'm going to come into the ruler area, click and drag, and out comes one of my guidelines. On the left hand side, do the same, left hand side again, just so you cover and make it snap to all your marching ants. Next I come in and go right click, cancel. Now I want to delete what I, my little guides in here, 3 to 1, or whatever you had, 4 to 1, 2 to 1, whatever you had in there, because you don't want to crop to that ratio. You don't want to, so you don't want to crop to those measurements, whether they're centimetres, metres, whatever. You want to crop at full resolution. So because you've got snap on, you, you, everything snaps, so it's really great. So once we've done this, double click. Now I'll just come into my image size. Still 240 uh, pixels per inch, 122 meg, and I've got full resolution, 11,000. 313 pixels by 3,772. So that's fantastic. View, clear guides. And now from here, I've got a perfect, if I come into my image size and type in 900, I've got a perfect 3 to 1. 900 by 300, 300. 3 threes are 9. Perfect 3 to 1 shot. Now this photo is ready to be produced and I know what my final composition is going to be. I've looked through it. I've cropped it. Now this is ready, once it's been edited, ready to be saved as a master file. So this is the sort of process that I do with all my digital panoramics. And the same thing goes if you're, say if you, we've got here a, a um, digital shot which is to replicate 35mm and our horizon's slightly off. So if we have to modify our, hor our horizon on this, when we don't really have any sort of excess stitching um, areas which we can sort of play with like we did with um, this panoramic here, what you have to do is if you had to sort of move this photo down, so if we grabbed our ruler tool and we came in just to straighten up our horizon, this is a bit rough again, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. Just come into arbitrary, click OK, and it's going to straighten our shot. But the problem here is, see how it's added this white? Now if I just came in and I just cropped basically so that white's not in the photo, this image may not exactly be 3 to 2 anymore. So again, what you'd come in, width 3 to 2, come in the centre, click and drag down, just so you don't have any sorts of white. So you move it around a bit, again you'd pull your guidelines in, come in, uh, snap, and you'd go through the same process here just as we did before for the panoramic all because our horizon wasn't straight so we'll just delete these come in again with our crop and this sort of feature will work um, perfect every time because sometimes your horizon may be really off and you, and you really have to make sure you crop it properly image size come in there you go 3 to 2 6 to 4, it's all the same sort of um, size ratios. So now our photo has our horizontal adjustment and we've re-cropped it back to the correct ratio for replicating 35mm. So there you go, that, there you have it with um, making sure you crop your work to the right ratio. It's extremely important because um, you need to have that continuity and that professional look to every single image you put out. Cheers.